Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium and Byzantine Egypt and Byzantine Maghreb and Byzantine Italy and Byzantine, what does that say, Iberia? No, Byzantine Valencia and Byzantine Corsica and Sardinia. We got our name all over the place. Someone was asking in Twitch chat, why so many enclaves? And the reason for so many enclaves is because with religious ideas, we get Deus Vault, which means anyone that we border who is not our religion we get this wonderful Casus Belli against them. So it's good to border as many nations as possible. And uh, we were talking before we started today. This is the first episode of the day. We're talking before we started today. What should we focus on at the start here? And the options are limited to basically whoever we don't have a truce with. We currently have a truce with the Ottomans, so I can't do him. We have a truce with the Mamluks, so I can't do him. So my choices are really either North Africa by declaring on Tafalalt and then trying to beat up Tunis, or Mantua Hungary, because Mantua Hungary eh, is a small alliance there. We could increase the size of the war by bringing in Austria, probably call in France on some favors. I'm tempted to do that. We do have, what, 14 favors with France? 15 favors with France. So we could call him in, no problem. I'm just not sure if I want to. Now let's look at the strength of the alliance here. Do we want to bring in Austria? Because co Hungary could be great. Let's see, where is, are they even in the list? Hungary's got 24 with no manpower. Austria's got 20 with 9,000 9, manpower. Where is Mantua? What's your flag look like? Mantua, what's your flag? Oh, you can't use your mouse over here? No, well. Um, he's going to be up here somewhere, right? Mantua, there he is, 28. Okay, he's actually got the biggest military out of all of them and the most manpower. He probably has a big fleet too. Do, 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 do. Hungary's not even in the list. Mantua's got 25 ships. Hungary's got 19 ships. And Austria, 13 ships. All right, but we're not chopped liver, are we? No, we got 61 ships. We'd have to engage their navy separately, but I think our 32 galleys would reign dominant. How are they on tech? 13, 12, and 14 versus my... 11. So their ships are going to be a little better. Yeah, they're going to have more naval morale than I will. So perhaps we should not bother with the naval part of that war. Let me turn on the forts over here. We'll look at our situation a little more. Turn on my forts. Probably don't need all of them to be turned on. Well, a couple wouldn't hurt. I'll turn on the Balkans ones. Because Hungary is close to the Balkans. And um, why don't we fabricate on Mantua here? Because I have a mission to eat Ancona, but I've lost my claim. Oh, Milan and Lucca left the coalition against us. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can uncoalition me all you want, bro. Hey, how about I give you another reason to coalition me? How's that sound? Also, my vassal, um, he doesn't have any claims on Hungary, but he would probably like this land. Um, no, there's no, there's no orthodox land. What about culture? Culture, 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 culture. No, there's no Serbian land, but there is Croatian, and he does accept Croatian culture. So perhaps I can feed Croatia to Serbia. Uh, in the meantime, why don't I fabricate over here on Temis? Temis! All right. And where's our troops? Down here? Are we going to have any rebels down here? Castilian separatists, Tlemceni separatists, um, Sunni zealots, Tlemcen and Oja. No, no, we're not going to have any rebels here in Antolia. So since that's the case, let's get back to the capital. And we'll get ready for a war with Hungary and Ancona. Missionaries are hard at work. We're coring some provinces as well. Mamluks want access? Nope. Yeah, we don't have enough points to core all this stuff. That's my main problem right now, is just not enough admin points to core everything. Ugh. Should probably get this ad administrative uh, idea group for the 25% cheaper coring. It'd be very useful. Why am I in such a hurry? Because I don't like sitting on my hands. I feel like... 
We've, we've been in the game for 130 years already, 131 years. There's not a whole lot of time left in the game. We got to get moving. Like, I understand the, the concern about, you know, you shouldn't rush through the game and everything. But at the same time, if we don't rush, we're going to miss out on a ton of good land. Like, if, if we don't get to war and start taking more of Europe, France is going to eat a ton of it. Commonwealth's going to eat a ton of it. Even Denmark could eat a lot of it. Saxony and Bohemia could eat a ton of the empire. I, I need to stop all this shit from happening. And the way to do that is to expand as fast as possible. The stronger we are, the weaker they're going to be. Guaranteed. Don't forget the tech up admin. Um, Truce with Hungary is over. Good. Tech up admin? I don't really get anything amazing from that, except income. Admin gives you income, better government types. All right, there's the rebels. There's the rebels. Oh, I have no general. Whoops. Oh, we got him anyway. We're good. Didn't even need a general. See? I got your general right here. Cali Fudge, thanks for resubscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Cali Fudge. I do appreciate it. Spam that shit. All right, so that's one rebellion down. What's coming up next? Castilian rebels? But that's a very, very low chance to revolt. It's only 6%. Uh, Corsican rebels? Really? It's only 6%. I mean, if it's... Whoa, you're getting flipped to what? You're getting flipped to Protestant. Okay, whatever. Tlemceni separatists? Rebels in Oran? Okay. All right, we should probably ferry some of these troops up to um, to Hungary, or maybe Italy. Should we focus on Italy? Maybe I should focus on Italy. What land do you want, Commonwealth? You want Hung Look at all this land he wants from Hungary. Look at that shit. And I'm sitting here fabricating on Temis. Look at that. Look at that desire. Holy shit. Look how much of Muscovy he wants. Wow, that's a lot of land. He really wants a lot. Cairo, 555 months. That doesn't seem very likely. Let's just do a run. All right, where's my transports? Where are my transports at? There they are. Come on down. Oh, wow. We've actually converted two provinces over here to orthodoxy. That's fantastic. Let's go. Cogliari went reformed. Okay. Yeah, the Reformation is fucking up Italy for sure. But that's okay. We can convert it back later. It's just going to have, you know, 30 years of religious zeal or whatever the fuck it is. So yeah, if we declare on Hungary directly, which we could do, uh, we could call in the Commonwealth and France as, as wait, are we, are we still married? No, we're not. No, we are not. We have military access. Wait, what? I have military access? Oh my god, I'm just, I'm fucking up majorly here. I have military access I need to get rid of. Uh, I don't have a diplomat, though. We just got discovered fabricating. Fuck. Well, that's one monarch point per month that I've been screwing. Why, why am I still getting military access there? Oh, he just canceled it for me. Hungary has canceled the Treaty of Military Access. Okay, so I don't have a diplomat. Thank you for doing that, Hungary. I should have looked at that. I didn't realize that. Finally coring the lands we took from the Ottomans. Man, that's a long time. Missionaries almost done in Fez, which is great. Orthodox Africa, best Africa. Liturgical reform, gain legitimacy. I don't need legitimacy. Thanks, though. 
Pick up some more soldiers, please. All right, how are we doing on dynasties? And Scotland, Cyprus, Cato. Yeah, no one interesting. Okay, diplomat is back. Uh, we don't need to cancel access anymore. We're good to go there. Is there anyone anymore to fabricate on or get relations up with? Not really. Um, that's not true. I should, I should fabricate. I got one on Rome. Yeah, Genoa, Lucca, Friesland. Okay. Voting order: Brittany, Munster, the Pope. Pisa has no allies. I should get that fabricated. That's a no-brainer. Just gobble them up. All right, 92% on the claim. Uh, I am going to start one more claim. I'm going to start one more claim on, um, what is this called? Umbria, before we start the war. Noble birth. Many of the families of the noble, noble, nobility want their current position due to actions of forefathers who served the state in times of war. Blah, blah, blah. Guarantee their right to command our armies. Oh, okay. Burgers would lose 20 loyalty and we would lose army tradition for 20 years. Or nobles would lose influence. Is that okay? I guess it's okay for the nobles to lose influence. Yeah, fuck the nobles. They had too much influence anyway. Yeah, sorry, nobles. You'll be fine. Tlemceni separatists. All right, well, I'll keep the navy down there in case we need those troops. Okay, there's our claim on Ancona. Let's get the claim on Umbria going. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, just need a diplomat to declare war. And I wonder if the Commonwealth wants to join me. We do have 10 favors. With him on our side, there's nothing we could do wrong in that war. Do I have any more troops I want to bring over? I don't think so. What's our force limit? 99. We could build another 30 guys. Mm, I should probably go with ships instead. 32 galleys. You know, I could go with some more trade ships, really. Or maybe I can upgrade my galley fleet. Yeah. Upgrade the galleys. That is worth my time. All right, come on over. I think we're good for war. Just got to get a claim to finish. Still can't choose good rivals. Ugh. Like, the worst part is I can't even core the provinces that I've taken. That's so bad. I can't even core the land that I took from the, from the Turks. Just cost too much admin. How are we doing on war exhaustion? Oh, there's none. Perfect. Yeah, the coalition's gone, but they will restart it after this war for sure. I think the main question I have is, do I declare directly on Hungary, or do I just declare on Mantua and then co-belligerent in Hungary? Oh, crap. Is it just Oran? It's just Oran, okay. Vassal feeding? Yeah, but... I don't have any vassals over here. Like, I can't give this to Syria, I just can't. They don't border this, the lands that I took. From the Ottomans, I took Hamid, Saruhan, and... Bozuk. So they don't border any of that shit. 80%. Are they going to spawn? They may or may not even spawn. We'll see. Alright, 85% on our claim. Are there any other wars going on? You guys are at peace. Peace. Oh, Bohemia is friendly. 
Ooh, that would be a nice alliance. You hate Hungary, don't you? Yeah, you really hate Hungary. You know what? I think I want to secure this alliance before we go to war. I'm not going to call him in, but just having him allied would be amazing. It's better than pissing him off, right? Because he's going to be the next emperor. I might as well ally him. If the emperor is your ally, then he cannot demand empire lands. Or at least he won't demand empire lands. Which is really helpful. Alright, 92%. We converted Tlemcen, very good. Orthodox, Orthodox, Orthodox. Converting, very good. Sicilian Separatists. Alright, Messina and Palermo. Put the fort on. So are these guys going to spawn or not? Cores are coming in. Good, good. One more core? Two more cores. Okay. There we go. Core that. I'm pretty sure we're just going to get rebels down here. Like, there's no way I can stop it. They're at 5.7%. They're just going to happen. Okay, we got our claim on Hungary. He still only has the two allies. Mantua only has the one ally. So what I'm thinking is we declare directly on Hungary. Uh, well, let's get our alliance with Bohemia first. Okay. So we're going to declare directly on Hungary. Call in Mantua as a co-belligerent. We'll fight the war in Mantua. Commonwealth can help me fight the war in Hungary. He will want land, though. That's the only thing is he'll want land. Hmm... No, no. Mantua is a better choice. Mantua is a better choice. I just need to make sure that Commonwealth is willing to join a war against Mantua. Are you willing to join? Yes, that's the spirit. And we can call in Hungary as a co-belligerent. Cleansing of heresy. Why does France say no? Oh, France is 2,000 ducats in debt. Okay, that's understandable. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely call him in. Bohemia, do you want any of Hungary? You do? Okay, so Bohemia might even join the war after the after it's declared. Interesting. Yeah, we can definitely win that war. How's your tech? 13, 13, 14, 14. I'm on 13? No, I'm on 14. I'm good to go. All right, am I waiting for anything else? Am I waiting for anything else? Hmm. Well, if we're going to do the war, then we should just ignore these rebels, because they're going to spawn, right? There's nothing I can do about it. So let's just get out of here. Let those rebels spawn. We'll come back for them. How's Persia doing? Oh, they're still happy. Muscovy's a little sad that I rivaled him, but he'll be fine. Shit. Shit. Puma2707, thanks for resubscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr. and or Mrs. Puma2707. Okay, the Sicilian rebels are going away, which is great. All right, so before the Commonwealth goes into any more wars, let's declare this thing. Commonwealth just started a war. Literally today. They just started it today. <laughs> I mean, of course they did. Of course they did. The moment my diplomat comes home is the day that the Commonwealth starts a war. 
of course. It's gonna be a short war, it's just against Crimea, but that's still fucking annoying as hell. Uh, so I guess I'm on my own for this war? I guess I'm on my own for this war. Hungry, how many troops do you have? Like 20 something? 32. Wow, that's a lot of troops. Eh, it's not that much. Navy's ready to rock. Fully upgraded Navy. That's just surprising. Like, the day I wanted to declare the war, when my diplomat came home, is the day he declared a separate war. Oh well, it happens. Guess I'll go sit in the mountains. I'll go sit in the hills. I will let my, my vassal protect me. Alright, slow down time. Let's get this war started. I guess that means I'm not going to co-belligerent Hungary. Yeah, because I can't bring in Austria. It's just too much shit. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, Hungary's in the war. Make sure Syria or Serbia is uh, set to group up mode. They are not. There we go. Check mark on. Okay. Serbia should stand near us. There we go. Stay in defensive terrain for now. No cannons, huh? Where's my cannons? There's four cannons. They're all they're all down here. All right, let's go. Let's see. Where's the defensive terrain? Grasslands. Gra oh, God. All of his forts are in grasslands. You're too smart for me, Hungary. I'm going to go siege down the mountains. Oran has converted, which I think will prevent the revolt from even happening. Yeah, the revolt's gone. Uh, where else is there revolt risk? Ottoman lands? Okay. There's Hungary. He's going for Temis. I wonder if he's going to come attack us in the mountains. I hope so. What kind of general do you have? Serbia's got a 2-5. Love it. Oh, are you just going to stand here in Serbia? Uh, that's okay, too. I wish I could have co-belligerent in Hungary. It's just not going to happen. Uh, I might as well use my diplomats for relations then. For now. Keep people happy. Hmm, he went to Bosnia. Okay. Well, that's fine. He's got two mountain provinces here. I'm just going to stand in them and let him attack me. That's cool. Okay, replacement armies are arriving so that the cannons can go north. Send some infantry down so I can send cannons to the north. These armies are just chilling down here to get rid of revolt risk. And it's working. They're down to 30%. Oh no, they're gone. The No, they're not gone. They're at 20%. Okay. Two more months, then we can send the whole army north. Mantua's got a little navy down here. Uh, if we want, we could engage it. Yeah, let's chase them off. Tempted to get a general, uh, an admiral as well, but not while I'm above my limit. Syria has joined up. Interesting. I wonder if I could grab Syria real quick for this other stack. I don't want all these armies to get... You know what? Maybe we can go kill this guy. Yeah, let's fucking try to kill this guy. 6-2. I'm ahead of him on tech. 
My vassals are... Oh, one of them's ahead. Yeah, that'll work. All right, one more month. Well, he let me catch him. So that's a sunk fleet. Very nice. Let's stock up for one month and heal. Okay. Are we out of time? We are out of time. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for more adventures in Byzantium. We're having a... Oh, he's, look at this. He's dropping off troops. That's adorable. We're having a grand old time here. I'm probably going to sink that entire navy and kill that army because he's not going to be able to drop them off in time. Yeah, we'll be out there in no time. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.